Uh, in the wake of Ibrahim Raisi's death, we need to consider three important questions. First, we have the question of presidential succession. Second, we have the question of Khamenei's successor as Supreme Leader. And third, we need to consider the reaction of the Iranian people. So, um, under President Raisi, the balance of power in Tehran existed in such a way that there was ideological alignment between the office of the president, the various bureaucratic um, bodies, such as the foreign ministry, the IRGC, and Khamenei's office. In the wake of Raisi's death, it is all but certain that Raisi will be replaced by a president who will maintain this balance of power, whether that's um, uh, Mohammad uh, Ghalibaf, the current speaker of the Iranian parliament, or someone like Saeed Jalili, who has a long experience in uh, foreign affairs. Second, we need to consider um, Khamenei's succession. So prior to Raisi's death, Raisi was seen as the most likely successor um, when uh, Khamenei inevitably dies. Um, now that Raisi is no longer in the picture, it's likely that someone like um, Mojtaba Khamenei, Khamenei's son, or someone from uh, the judiciary like um, Mokseni Ejai, or someone from um, the clerical class such as um, uh, Ali Reza Arafi will take over. Um, of course, there is likely going to be some sort of uh, succession crisis. Uh, even though Khamenei has attempted to consolidate power, um, to expand the ideological influence of his office, there is likely going to be some sort of jockeying for this position. So this is the more important consideration when we think about changes following Raisi's death. And then as I mentioned, we need to consider the reaction of the Iranian people. If there is some sort of crisis at the elite level, the Iranian people will have an opportunity to um, profess their opposition to the regime, to engage in demonstrations. Um, and this reaction may come sooner than Khamenei's death. I think it's certainly likely. Um, given um, Mojtaba's lack of executive experience, uh, lack of public profile relative to Raisi, many analysts perceived him as less likely to succeed Khamenei. Now that Raisi is no longer in the picture, um, Mojtaba becomes um, more likely to succeed his father. That said, there are still other individuals um, under consideration, um, like I mentioned, Ali Reza Arafi um, is also considered someone who, who could potentially take over. And so because of that, there, there is still room for elite contestation, for uh, some sort of succession crisis to emerge. Now, Khamenei wants to avoid that if he can. Um, he's been working, especially since 2019, to consolidate his power, consolidate his ideological authority over the Islamic Republic to ensure a smooth transition once he dies. Um, of course, things may not go according to plan, but if he has it his way, perhaps Mojtaba Khamenei is the most likely successor. The opposition has an opportunity to, with the upcoming presidential elections to make its discontent with the Islamic Republic known. Um, after the woman life freedom protests, resistance to the Islamic Republic and dissatisfaction with the current uh, political state of affairs in Iran continued. Of course, the demonstrations largely moved to uh, smaller acts of civil disobedience, such as chanting at football matches, or refusing to participate in elections. With the upcoming presidential election, there is an opportunity for this discontent to be made clearer through uh, refusal to participate, which appears likely given that the Guardianship Council um, is poised to only uh, allow hardline candidates to run. And the international uh, opposition has an obligation to support these efforts to try and coordinate these efforts and to also pressure for 
the United States and the European Union to um, take a more uh, direct confrontational approach with the Islamic Republic. Of course, after President Raisi's death, we saw members of the European Union and even the United States offering condolences, um, providing a moment of silence for Raisi at the United Nations. And it's up to the opposition in the West to make clear to these governments that in order to support the people of Iran over the Islamic Republic, then in turn, they must support the opposition in Iran rather than provide condolences, provide support, and provide a lack of deterrence to the malign activities of the Islamic Republic.